Hello there, and welcome to another segment of Your Question in Focus. I am Nikisha Castello, and with me today I have Miss Pauline Joseph. She's a tax specialist within the Tax Advisory Services Division. On this week's program, we'll be focusing on companies and what returns must be submitted to the GRA. I know many people start a business very small and later expand, but Ms. Joseph, kindly give me a proper definition of what a company is. Section 2 of the Income Tax Act, Chapter 8101, defines company as a body of corporate or unincorporated, but does not include a partnership company, namely commercial company, non-commercial company, insurance company, investment, close, and non-resident company. Okay, and what returns must be submitted to the GRA? Companies are required to submit income, corporate income tax, and cooperate with property tax returns. Okay. Is the rate for a company income tax same as a personal income tax? No. The companies will have to pay 40%, which is a commercial company, 30% for a non-commercial company, 45% for a telecommunications company, and for a commercial company, they would have to use 2% of their turnover. If when they compute the 40% is less than 2%, they would have to use a 2% turnover. On the other hand, most commercial companies might be dealing with both commercial and non-commercial. To find out whether it's a commercial company, which is 75% of the good not um, manufactured for, by them, they would have to use a computation to find out whether they're commercial or non-commercial company. Okay. Well, property tax now, what is the rate for companies? Oh, companies on the first $10 million of their net property will be exempt. On the next $50 million will be computed at half percent and the remainder at three-quarter percent. Okay. And when is the tax payable for these companies? The companies are required to submit their advance taxes on the 15th of March, 15th of June, 15th of September, and 15th of December. So quarterly? Quarterly, yes. All right, and what is the penalty for a late submission? The penalty for a late submission is an amount of $15,000. Oh, that's a small thing for these companies. All right, well, thank you so much, Mr. Joseph. Remember, if you have questions, queries, feel free to contact us on the numbers listed at the end of the program. Thanks for watching.